Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to day 5 of Let's Play Dark Souls doing the Charcoal Challenge. In the last episode we took out Quelag and the Bell Gargoyles, meaning we have opened up Sen's Fortress, a huge castle filled with deadly traps, snake people, and some pretty, pretty dangerous situations. But I'm hoping to get through it, and I'm actually going... That's a bug I never noticed before. And I'm actually going to try and do this place completely. Wait, I have iron flesh on. Maybe I don't want that. Screw that! I'm switching out! Wait, check this out. If you step on this... Nah, I'll, I'll show it later. I'll show it. Oh! Yeah. It activates these uh, arrow thingies. They're kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I want something else. I think I'm going to go with combustion, actually. <laughs> but I have been getting some comments lately. And I believe one of the comments I want to reply to are uh, the comments telling me to... What I want to do? Attune magic, yes! Talking, playing at the same time, not easy. The comments telling me to get a um, enchanted weapon instead of upgrading to 15 plus. Now, I'm no... Oops. Sorry. I'm no master at this game, but from my understanding and from what I've seen at like weapon damage charts, Upgrading a weapon to plus 15 and then applying a resin is going to far outdo the damage Or not really far, but outdo the damage of having like a lightning weapon um, Upgraded to what to the full capacity now. I'm not sure With this, but it was just that's really what I've seen So unless somebody can kind of give me proof that upgrading to plus 15 is not the best approach Then that's what we're gonna do if you can prove it Please do, I'm always interested in doing a lot of damage. First off, double serpent people. I have no idea how many guys these killed me first time around with Sarthar. I bring it on. You ain't getting me, bro, but they do have a really awesome weapon though. Can you stop that? Okay. Parry skills. Okay, look at this. Look at this parry. It's gonna be sweet! <laughs> okay. Okay, so far Sense Fortress is turning out to be great. Now, I do want some new pyromancy uh, spells, because the ones we can get down in the swamp are far superior to the ones we have right now, but we're going to need some souls, so I thought, why not... <laughs> the bodies. Why not finish up Sense Fortress first, get some souls, and then we can worry about um, getting new spells later on, because we're going to need them once we hit, um, once we hit Anerlando. That's definitely true. So let's start this Friday session of Dark Souls by doing stunting. Whew. And that's <gasps> I'm alive! How am I alive? Dude, dude, dude. Where's my homeward bone? Where's my homeward bone? Where's my homeward bone? Dude, 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 dude. Where's my homeward bone? <gasps> How did I survive? <laughs> Normally, you're you're not supposed to survive a fall like that. <laughs> okay, um, you don't want to fall down there. Deadly things there. I said I was gonna just breeze through Sen's fortress. Already went to the bonfire twice. I haven't died though, and I know it's possible to do like a pacifist run. You can get through this entire place without damaging anything. But that's boring. I want to kill. All right. Stab. Dang it. Alright, so I want to try getting better at using my combustions a bit. Yeah. Since they have very short range, you gotta be good at the dodging. And kind of knowing how the enemy moves. These snake people are really... Annoying! But we'll get used to it. Because I think one of the spells we're going to have is the Great Combustion. That has been recommended. So I'm definitely gonna try that out. What do you want, snake man? You're a snake. Okay, check this out then. How? Ah. I don't want to mess with the timing. I don't want to try learning a new timing. I've never tried pairing these guys because there aren't really a lot of them. Backstabs! That's how I roll. So you can't mess with... Okay, you can mess with me. If you want to. I'm just gonna be using my flames, really. 
since there aren't really a lot of enemies in this castle. Alright, let's attempt this again. This bridge is probably the toughest part of the castle um, fortress. There's As long as you know the traps, you should be fine. And as long as you don't try doing epic parkour, you're good. The problem comes up here, though. Because there's a, a wizardy lady there. And you over here. Yes! Then I had the wrong spell equipped. That's just so... T I mean, wrong thing equipped. But it still worked out pretty well. Okay. Wah! Now we're going up to face her. And our shield is not very good at magic resistance, I believe. I'm kind of curious. 55%. So it's not that bad. There are a lot of shields that are a lot worse. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And... Arrow trap! Tasty arrows, lady! And that's why she died. No, um... No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Not yet. Not yet. Some of you probably know what I'm talking about. Some of you probably don't. Now, this place over here. We're gonna come back here later. Hey! How's it going? Bye! <laughs> So right here we have some bolder people. Oh no, you're kidding me. Go, 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 go. Yes. Kill. Oh no, that guy's still alive. Okay, I'm out of here. Is he still coming? Yeah, he died. Thank those boulders, man. No, there's somebody in here. Hello? Excuse me. I'm right here. Gonna smash the table. Ah, dang it! Only got him on one of them. All right. Uh, the blood stain on the bra the ground in the corner here symbolizes that a player died on this area, so it could help you locate traps. Let's drink up. Let's drink up. We can't take a lot of damage. Right. Go! 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 Boulders rolling all the way over here. Bam! Secret passage. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh! Uh! Go! Run! Okay. Good. Ugh. It's actually not what I wanted though. I. Ugh. It's okay. I think it's like there's like a soul up there. That's it. There is a ring down here that we want to get though. And to get it, we're gonna have to be standing here for a while. We need to let those boulders pile up. It's all part of the plan. Once they pile up, we can break through the wall. Let's go over here in the meantime. Now, why am I not opening this chest? If you look closely at the chain, you will see that the chain is actually the opposite way. I did not know this the first time I played through, and so I was like, yeah, there's probably nothing wrong with this chest. But, um... Just so you can see what happens, or I'm not gonna die by it, but this is what lurks inside the chests. Chest Monster 5000, activate! You will get eaten from a freaking treasure chest. And they can kick you. Just like soccer. <gasps> um. Don't underestimate their super ninja flying kicks. <laughs> oh lord. Let's go back there. I have a few souls on the line. Alright, but uh... It's actually okay that we died. Because back here there was actually an item. That I forgot to get. Which we're going to get now. It's a ring and I do like... Rings, get in! We can't be standing out here. Are you crazy woman? Burn! Alright, over here in the corner is the chest. Chain looks okay. Ring of Steel Protection. A ring which boosts defense against physical attacks. So it's, it's a very nice ring, I often use it. In case you get hit a lot, which I do. But if you never get hit, then... 
Use something else. Ah, you blocked it. Alright then. Yeah. No, that was that was fail. That was the wall. Let's start by finding out the difference between a serpent and a wall. I'm not gonna mess with that. You're crazy. Oh boy, looks like I am messing with this. Yep. There he goes. Gotta wait for the mm. bowler. Alright. This time. Let's jump in here this time. Okay. Bayum. And let's. Yeah! Large soul of a proud knight. Which gives us tons of souls. Wait. Alright, it's this place. Yeah. I don't wanna go here. I wanna go further down. Actually, no, I don't want. <laughs> Why do that when I can take the safe route? Over here, we're gonna have a sorcerer set and a sorcery named Hush. So, if you wanna look like a sorcerer, you may. And. This is kind of the main place where the boulders are sent. You can decide what direction they are sent in by uh, pulling this thingy. I can't for the life of me remember which direction uh, leads to the um, place to open a secret wall. But it doesn't really matter, because we don't really have any need to save Logan. There is a large, um, a re really good soul in there though. We have not been here yet. Where did I die? I died at the chest, didn't I? Okay. Then that is where we shall go. I pulled a lever so we won't be seeing a boulder in a while. Still want to be kind of quick. <sighs> Something you can do if you don't want to take him on though. Throw a Lloyd Talisman. <laughs> then you can get his item. This guy has a lightning spare. You won't get the souls for killing him though, but that's okay. You gonna drop any boulders? Oh! It's already open. Perfect. Covetous gold serpent ring. Now this ring uh, dramatically increases our drop uh, chances. Whoa. Okay. Meaning it... Meaning it's gonna be easier for us to get epic loot from enemies. Which is going to be good if we're gonna be farming for titanite chunks and titanite slabs. So we can upgrade our armor and weapon. So let's just roll this place. Just keep on roll and roll and roll. There we go. Uh, almost done with it. Almost done with the fortress. Don't worry about it. Just got the final boss left to kill. The final boss is actually not that bad. He's one of the easier bosses. Too obvious. By the way, Dark Souls 2 gameplay trailer came out today and... I I want to see more. It's still pretty early in development. I wasn't really blown away. But then again, it's all pretty early, so... I'll have to see. That's the right swing. There we go. I'm always leaning back in my seat when I do that. It's kind of suspense. You know, screw this. I'm just going to use the fire orb. We're going to play it safe. No. You know drop stuff for me. I be sad. Boom. Boom. Sweet. There's actually another guy down here. Who's guarding a treasure chest with a something I can't remember. I think it's a soul. But let's just kill him. Dang it, I was too slow. I couldn't pull up my... Okay. Good range on that attack, bro. Bet your mom's proud of you. All right, well, let's just go safe with the pyro. Pyro, it's the way to go. Pyro, it's the way to go. Pyro, if you're wearing an afro. And you're gonna hit again. Bam! Then he burns. Oh boy, 
Every time I hear footsteps, even though they're like below me and stuff, it's like, uh Large style night charts, nice. It's actually useful. Well, what I'm really looking forward to in Dark Souls 2 is just a brand new place with brand new seekers. You never know what's going to be around the next corner. Like, I know there's an enemy to my left who wants to push me off. I know how to get past these ones. It's... That's not the challenge. Like, understanding what to do. It's... So, having, like, a brand new place to explore, it's going to be so much fun. A brand new game to learn the mechanics of. Both pretty much gonna be the same. This place is dangerous because there are giants here who throw freaking flaming boulders. So yeah, don't hang around this place too much. Now, I'm gonna go into human form. I know a lot of you want to see me get invaded. I don't know why. Maybe you're a bit of on the evil side. That's okay. The thing is, you don't want to get invaded while that throwing guy is still alive. But we have to do it because I'm gonna kindle this bonfire. It's it's time to take <clears throat> Excuse me. It's time to take on the boss. Actually first I'm gonna take another route and kill a non-responding NPC. Because he's kinda cool to kill. And then we're moving onwards. It has been kindled. I am human. I say bring it on Dark Wraiths. I'm not afraid of any of you. You can all go to oblivion and rot. Alright, so first on the agenda, dodge flaming boulders falling from the sky. Sounds good. Good. Large titanite shards. Over here we have a knight. Um, knight of Baron Saya, I believe they're called. And we had a similar one in the church. Only this guy actually responds. I was kind of saving them for the other guy, but... Ah, screw it. Boom. Hello. Okay. He's pissed. I get it. And I don't want to get close enough to actually use my own spell. Oh, the combustion. This is going to be fun. He's going to do it again. How did I avoid that? I'm, I'm, go I'm going to blame it on my ninja skills. I love you. I love you. Alright, at least I got him. He's gonna go to... Oh, he's, I think he's gonna pop a heal. Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna be kind of kind to him. I'm just gonna be like, dude, if you want to heal, that's fine by me. He's not planning on healing. Bam! Then I'm gonna take advantage of it. Large Titanite Shard, thank you. How much is our axe at? It's at plus 10. Alright, we upgraded that fully. Now we can upgrade our armor, because I can't really go wrong in upgrading our armor. Now, if you want to come over here. Walk up these beautiful stairs. There's a guy up there. And it's about time we met him. Hello. How are you doing, friend? Bam! He likes to stab you in the stomach. And fire arrows. And then rinse and repeat, so... We're not gonna let you do that. We're gonna be a bastard. Bastard pyromancer with no skills. Whoa! No! Oh! How was... Oh, that was a hit. Ricard's Rapier. In case you wanna do some epic fighting. And in these chests, we have a Divine Blessing. And... Oh, I can't remember what's in this chest. It's it's like a consumable item. It's rare ring of sacrifice. Um, it's like the ring of sacrifice, just that it also breaks a curse. In case you were kind of cursed on death. Now you can be cursed by just like a few enemies in the game, and if you get cursed, you automatically die, and you start with fifty percent HP. You can break the curse with the purging stone. And being cursed is not nice. That happened to Sarthar. I spent an entire episode trying to get rid of it. So stay away from curses. But it's a very good ring to have if you're running back to get your stuff. Don't be afraid to use it. That's all I'm gonna say. Dark out. Peace. Alright, right now I wanna meet a, uh, a brand... Mm, that's a bow. We don't need a bow. What it was... 
Oh, hey there. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, what I was going to say was I was trying to reach a merchant because there is a new merchant up here who sells some uh, pretty cool stuff if you're into heavy armor. He also sells green blossoms and I think he might sell large titanite shards. <gasps> I out of the fire get out of the fire <laughs> Okay planned all along You don't believe me Cracked round shields plus ton All right, it's time to reinforce our hoods our hoods our robe our robe our gloves good don't be messing with us. So I th I think I'm just might spend souls getting the large titanite shards. I don't know, just just a bit. Of, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll get a few, because I can break down a lot of titanite chunks. We're gonna need them to upgrade as well, but easier to get. So we'll see whenever we reach them. If I reach them and actually remember to jump, to jump you have to kind of be holding down the sprint button and then release and press. So it's quick. Sometimes a bit tricky. Okay. Hey! It's a crestfallen merchant. So we can buy items. These are black fire bombs, green blossoms, which are pretty nice. I have actually never ever used them because I don't really like uh, buying consumables because I don't like consumables that disappear. But maybe I would <clears throat> want to get some for later fights. Can always come back. Large titanite shards, four thousand each. We ain't messing around here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah, let's buy a few. Oh, I'll make something of you. I will. I will become Ember, Master Pyromancer. <gasps> Who's so who almost died? Wee! Wee! Okay. You can survive really high falls in this game. It's quite lovely. Over here, <clears throat> we have that cage key in case you want to free a guy named Bit Hat. Big Hat Logan, who can teach you awesome pyro um, sorceries. Boy, I'm really failing my English today. I guess I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be home. To have all the tests done with for this week. Knowing there's so much more coming up next week. <laughs> you know what? No. Alright. Let's go do something awesome. We can actually open up a shortcut here in Sense Fortress and the shortcut is going to allow us to go from the first bridge that we encountered and straight up here. So I am really fond of the idea of shortcuts and I'm really excited for Dark Souls 2 as well. It's the whole feeling of not knowing what's going on. I remember the first time I read about Dark Souls in like a game magazine I was like dude that must be so rad and it was and it was. Use the cage key. That key is actually used for the shortcut as well as Logan's uh, as Logan's cage. So dual purpose. Now we have a serpent here. I don't know how I feel about this. All right, bring me up. Bring me home. Ha! <laughs> he died. Good. There's also another gold, uh, another serpent ring you can get in here, the silver serpent ring, which gives you more souls, in case you were interested in that. But right now, I'm just interested in getting to the boss. He's right up here, you can actually summon someone named Iron Tarkis to help you out. And he's pretty much gonna kill the boss for you. He's a boss. You don't mess with the Tarkis. That's just how it is. You're down. Now, the guy throwing boulders is actually right above us. He will actually bother you during the 
upcoming boss fight if you do not take him out. Luckily, there's an easy trick to kill him. First, you gotta get him enraged. That was not enraged. You'll know when this guy's pissed. I'm right here. I'm tiny. And I'm too good for you. You could never get a girl like me, dude. I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous. Come on. I know you can do it. Don't make me start talking about your mother. I think I gotta talk about his mother soon. He's not seeming pissed off enough. Oh. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Just don't get trapped like I did there. <laughs> but now he's gonna be on his knees. And you can feel free to deal some sweet damage. He is gonna get up eventually though, so... Be mindful of that. And he's dead. Tied a night junk. Da -da -da. Bye -yum. Wait. Alright, right, right, coming up. We got Ember gonna do her famous backflip. Can actually destroy rocks. Your backflip cannot destroy these rocks. But a front flip can. So get your Ember today. Battery's not yet included. They will not they never will. You have to buy them yourself. <sighs> Did I just waste all my fire ores before the boss fight? Let me just do a little run back. While we're here, let's get these up to plus five. And the boots also up to plus five. Now everything is plus five. It's time to take it beyond. Okay. If we move on to Titanite chunks now, it's gonna be exciting indeed. <laughs> I love the body physics in this game. You might say it's stupid, and it kind of is, but I love it. Alright, here we go. Boss time. Meet the Iron Golem, everybody. Dun 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 dun. How's it going, Mr. Golem? You met me? My name is Ember. You should have heard about me. Gonna be famous one day. Okay, gonna be famous for being thrown off the castle. Get up, 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 get up. Da 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 da. Oh crap. Piece of cake boss, eh, Dark? Yeah, what a simple boss, Dark. You're really doing good in this battle, Dark. I hear you, I hear you. Oh, he's gonna kill me now. He's gonna fin. He got me stun locked. He has me stun locked. There. Can you let me get to you? I did not think it was gonna. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna show you what true power is. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Alright, Gollum. Round two. This time, you'll be the golem. Ha 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 ha. I don't even know. Alright, this time, I'm gonna be aware of his grab attack, everybody. I know, I know. Amazing. Whoa. Sexist. How is that not damage? Now, the thing about this guy is that he actually easily staggers during the battle, so if you. If you do enough damage to him, he will get staggered and possibly fall off the bridge. That also happens sometimes. How is that not close enough? Oh, I gotta learn to range. Learn to range, Dark. Gotta learn to range. That's what my mama always used to tell me. Just learn to range, Dark. And you'll be okay. I am. No, you're not. You gonna do it again? You gonna do it again? Didn't think so. Right up the butt. Flames up your butt. Taste the flames in your butt. Whoa, okay. Sorry, I'm used to using fireballs, so I'm used to being able to have a little bit of distance, so... It's all about the moment you throw the spell. That's pretty essential. Okay, you're not getting me today. Cause I'm... I'm... 
Ember! That doesn't actually mean anything yet because I don't have a name for myself. Oh, okay, that's his foot. Yeah, he's gonna go on a rampage now. Good. Rampage more. Get staggered. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm actually pretty lucky that he's not hitting me because they look like hits for sure. Alright, let's go through his leg. In between the legs! Goal! <laughs> he looks so happy. Alright. I'm down for this. I'm down for this. We're gonna run out of spells, though. I guess a combustion spell is a lot more efficient than an orb spell, since you get a lot more damage done, just in like a short, a longer amount of time. So I'll keep that in mind. Also, I will two-hand more. It's also been something that's been said a lot, because two-hand equals more damage. Who would have thought? Oh boy, I'm chipping health right here. No! No! <laughs> Oh, oh, watch where you're rolling, Dark. I blame rap music for this. You know what they say? Third time's the charm, and this time I'm actually going to be able to hit with my attacks, with my fire orbs. I won't waste them like I just did. But first matter of business is get... I don't have that many souls, do I? Should I really kill myself over the souls? I really shouldn't. But I will! Sweet. 500! Okay, 6. That's a bit better. Still not, not really worth going for, to be honest. Alright. I just gotta be... Just He's slow, Dark. He's an iron golem. Take your time. I was about to roll off the edge. Hope nobody saw that. Dude, some of these boss attacks is like you feel like the axe is just. <laughs> I don't like this ring. Take it off. I'm not trying to roll at all. I'm simply trying to start running. But if I move and try to start running, he rolls or she rolls. Sorry, Ember. You're a dude now. Hope you can live with that. And halfway down the health. Now it's combustion time. Right, I feel good about this. Oh, you think you're so tough? Charge! Bam! Right up the butt. Right up the butt, mister. No, you're not. Now watch where you're jumping. I know I'm fighting on the edges here. But I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna fall off. But I, maybe I have to do like a certain amount of damage for him to fall off. Maybe I can't reach that high critical damage by using my current spells. This is bad. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna take any chances there. Okay, that's fine with me. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! Bye, I'm right up the butt. Bye, I'm right up the butt. Whoa. Oh, he was right about to fall down. Oh my god. I'm. You're gonna die so hard, your mother's gonna feel it. Your mother was probably half machine, wasn't she? Yes, yeah, she was. Too far. Too slow. Bye. Okay, I have five left. Let's not mess around with these. Let's make sure we get the butt shot. It's the butt shot we want. Is it going to be enough? Oh, crap. That was kind of mean. <laughs> Something I just thought about while I was running back. I mean, we could always grab... Um, there are certain rings in the game that gives us an extra attunement slot. Meaning we could actually get a whole new spell slots for fire spells. That could actually be pretty beast. Alright, Gollum. Spread those legs! And I probably shouldn't be shouting that. People are going to be wondering what I'm doing in my room. But I don't care! Because it's combustion time. Bam, 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 Combustion time. It probably sounds horrible over the background music, but whatever. It's cool. It's cool. I really love the dark wood grain ring. Makes me feel that dodging is just so much more powerful than it is when you're when you're rolling. Flips just. They're so. 
You're gonna be jumping up. Oh, you were close though. You were close. Having dark thoughts. Things always get better, man. Well, that is if you're a human and you're a good person. Well, if you're a golem made out of iron, I'm sorry, you're, you're pretty much doomed. There's not a lot more I can do for you, buddy. Except for fail my combustions. Okay, game on, game on, game on, game on, game on. Up the butt, up the butt, retreat. Oh, he's pissed. In the leg, one more combustion. The final combustion that would end it all. Yeah! This one is for your butt. That was not good. That took me four tries, I think. This was my fourth one. That was... I, I could have done a lot better. But he is dead. That is what matters. I have learned a thing or two about the range of my new fire spells. Not used to being a pyromancer. Used to being a knight. And so there is actually something I would like to do. Before we go. Uh, I want to go and save Logan. First of all, so you can see how you do it. Second of all, because he's awesome. I wonder if you can jump off here. Like, take running speed and jump. That'd be cool. So, I guess the fastest way would just be going back. Yeah, let's just go back down. So, I don't need to traverse anything backwards. I'll just get confused and die. We have 40,000 souls on the line. Dark, be careful. Thank you, Dark. I will remember that. You're welcome, Dark. You're, you're polite. So, my new technique. Tanking the hits. Getting behind them. Doing a backstab. Failing. Running away because I don't want to die. And that's pretty much my new technique. Come on. Give me the... Okay. He does not want to cooperate. Fine. Then I will not cooperate either. Okay. Just, it's all about timing and precision. Oh, shh. No, you're not. And roll. Oh, you actually made it. I'm so proud of you. Here, I have a combustion left over from the Iron Golem fight. You can have it. Take my axe as well. I mean, what the heck? We're all friends. Let's share the goods. Alright. Now, it, since I turn... I turned the thing, but the boulder is actually not... I think. Let me let me check. Yeah, the boulder's not coming this way, but there is another way you can do this actually. Hey. Oh boy. Let's hope the boulder's not gonna come after me. Hey you! Douchebag! You can actually get this guy to destroy the wall if you're just playing it smart enough. So just you preferably want to have a shield that's a bit better than mine, but you know. Gotta make do with what I have, right? Are you kidding me? Why did I get the Suicidal Serpent? That would be an awesome band name. Suicidal Serpent. Uh, let me just check. Where's this boulder going? Okay. Dang it! No, okay. I gotta go out of, get up to the control room. I thought I thought like the boulders were gonna switch every once in a while. I haven't really understood how all the whole boulders... No! <laughs> so close, so close. Okay. <clears throat> We're back here again. Dark is having trouble in Sense Fortress. But that was actually kind of good, because now we get the Serpent Man. As I said, I, I don't really know how the boulders work, if they kind of... Oh, I get so freaking paranoid by that sound. Excuse me. Mister, you gotta teach me a thing or two about these walls. Okay, let's see. Come over here. Try hitting me. Old Oh, there we go. So he can actually open up the wall for you if you want to. Which is what I wanted to. We're gonna kill him. Let's hope the boulders ain't coming this way. If you go over here... I'm 
bowl with an empty hand, but I could repay you with knowledge and sources. This place is nothing like it. The inactivity is reproof. Sure thing, buddy. Get out of there. This guy is just awesome. If you if I want to be a sorcerer, saving Logan is oh my god. It at least it helped out on my sorcerer, made her a real boss. Soul of a hero. That's gonna grant us ten thousand souls, I think, when consumed, so Or was it eight thousand? It's still a lot. Uh, let us return to the bonfire. And I see no reason to stay here in Sense Fortress. It's time to head on to the most difficult part of our journey yet, but dare I say also the most beautiful. The place we're going to is... You'll see, you'll see. I love the place, I hate the place, the place makes me cry and stop playing the game, the play place makes me want to play the game, it's, it's a weird place. And it's a place of one of the most memorable boss battles in my opinion. I mean, after playing the game and playing through all the bosses, that's the boss fight, you're like, yeah, I remember that boss fight. And I'm very excited to take it on. I know Razor managed to do it. I think he did it on his fourth try or something, which is pretty good. Let's do it on our first... I'm joking. I'm not going to be able to do it on my tenth. But I want to try. I want to try. All I can say is, it's a dual boss. What are you doing? Get out of here. Now that the boss is gone, this is opened up. There's a strange circle of light on the ground. Let's examine this ring of light. Orlando, the beautiful city, city of the gods, and it's where we will face our greatest challenge yet, but that is all an adventure for another day. Well, my name is Voice of the Dark, thank you so much for watching, I hope you're going to tune into the next episode, because we're gonna start exploring around Anorlando. We might even want to return and get some more sorceries. But there's a lot of things awaiting us. And if we turn human in here, we're almost bound to get invaded. So stay tuned. My name is Voice Around Dark. Thank you so much for watching. Thank this guy for... I don't have anything to thank you for. And stay dark. Have a still awesome day. Goodbye.